So today I want to give you a very serious talk. It's the talk about poop. <laughs> so how do you know if your digestion is good? Well, it takes about four to six hours for your food that you take in to enter into the small colon. But it actually takes anywhere from two to five days for it to fully digest from the small colon to the large colon. So whatever you ate is going to take a couple days for it to pass. Now that just depends on the quality of food, the simplicity of the food. So the more recognizable of the food, your body's easy to process it, break it down, use it as fuel, and then ultimately pass it as poop. Now, how do you know what a perfect poop is? Think about soft ice cream. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> well, you want to have a soft poop that is like shaped like a sausage. And the reason why it gets shaped like a sausage is because it mirrors your small colon. And whenever you poo, you want to make sure that it's pain free. Okay, now the question is, how many times are I going to say poop? <laughs> so the poo should come out smooth and effortless. If you're sitting there and you're straining and you're going to give yourself a hemorrhoid, yuck, then your something is off. Okay, something is off. If your poo is really hard, it's most likely an indication that you're dehydrated and that you should drink water. Another way to determine if you're dehydrated is the color of your pee. So your color of your pee should be like a very light yellow. If your pee is coming out and it's like orange or dark orange or even worse, red, well, if it's red, there's probably some kind of food coloring, but the oranges is usually what indicates whether or not you're hydrated. The darker the orange, the worse, and you need to hydrate immediately. Now, if you have liquid poops, then that just means that you have some type of uh, stomach virus, right? You maybe have eaten uncooked food. Um, you know, it, that's generally what it is. There's some something that with the cooking process that just wasn't right. You had some type of food poisoning. And so your body is just like, it's unable to form it and it's trying to excrete it as fast as possible. So you don't want diarrhea either. You don't want the hard poops. You don't want the liquid poops. Um, one of my big topics and what I love to work with, with, with our clients is getting fiber because when you consume enough fiber, it actually draws water into your poop and it creates a, a heavier stool. And when you got a heavier stool, you think about digestion, you think about gravity, it pushes it down a lot faster, it helps with digestion, it draws water into the stool and then it helps bring it down and, gets, and it gets metabolized faster. Um, and so what it does is it softens hard poop right so you think about it if if your poo is hard because you're di dehydrated if you drink water then it's going to draw that water into the stool so that it be that it becomes uh not so stiff loosens it up and it helps to pass through and when you're um dehydrated or when your poo is liquid guess what happens it draws like it solidifies the poo so that it becomes more of a normal like volume and normal weight and it helps you to pass uh, the, the things that you've eaten. And how do you know how much fiber? Well, that depends on the individual. So if you're feeling super bloated and gassy, then that means that you've consumed too much fiber. Yes, that is possible because <laughs> there's tons of fiber supplements out there. There's fiber enriched protein bars, fiber enriched uh, like chocolate chips. And so if you're constantly feeling gassy and bloated, like if you're feeling like you have to go to the washroom all the time and then like you just sit there and you're just gassy, that's probably an indicator that you've consumed too much fiber. So you gotta be careful with those fiber supplements and fiber enriched uh, meals or, or supplements such as like protein bars. And whenever you consume fiber, you always wanna make sure that you're consuming just as like, like enough water so that that fiber gets put to use. Okay? And when you're in a higher fiber or when you're eating more calories and there's phases where you should be eating higher calories and lower calories, then when you're consuming the higher calories of food, you should probably be consuming higher calories of fiber, which means that you should be consuming higher, higher volumes of water. But at the same time, you should not be jumping on the scale because your body is absorbing that food. It's utilizing it. It's adding volume. You've consumed more fiber, which adds more volume. You've consumed more food, which adds more volume. And you've consumed more water, which adds more volume. So do not jump in the scale on the on the initial parts of the uh, belly burn challenge or the, the Fit Club method uh, because of the fact that you're going to have that issue. But as you gradually reduce your calories and intake, et cetera, et cetera, 
you can also reduce the amount of fiber that you're consuming and uh, you're not going to have that retention and so you're going to get the results that you're looking for. So I hope you learned a lot about poop. I'm happy to share this topic with you. <laughs> it's been a very interesting talk.